In this video, we will be looking at how to apply tabs to your document. The first thing you want to do is to go to your paragraph section here on your home ribbon and we're going to click on this little icon right here, bottom right, that will open a gallery of options for us to see. Now we have at the bottom left of this window that pops up the option that says tabs we're going to click on that option and you now notice that you have a number of different um, options here like your tab stop position which simply indicates uh, where to stop when your tab key is pressed on your keyboard and currently the default tab stop position is 0 0.5 inch right which is half of an inch and you can always change your measurements if you have centimeters or any other measurements you can always change that uh, but on my system I have inches here uh, below we have options for alignment and also leader so the alignment simply is how your text is aligned left center right etc. Leader allows you the option of having these symbols here indicated beside these numbers uh, before your tab uh, item is um, typed. So we're going to enter, we're going to start with number one. Uh, we want to have a top stop position at um, one inch. So we type one inch here in our top stop position and um, I don't want to have any leader and we're going to leave it as left aligned so we can click on the option here that says set and um, once you have done that you now notice below this box that we just typed you have the number one and the two little um, the two little marks beside that to indicate inches the measurement and we can now do another tab stop position I'm gonna just enter four there and I'm gonna put a leader here I'm gonna use number two and I'm still gonna leave it as aligned left click on set you know notice that appears in the box below as well so if you need to clear any of your tabs you can always click on highlight the one you need to clear and click on the option for clear all right let me do that for the four inch okay if you need to clear all you can click on the option to clear all so that is how you clear let me just set them back as they were so we had one inch and we also had four inch leader two here so good and now we can click on ok all right so now that we have all our tabs in place, if you notice on the ruler, you should be seeing two L looking icons that are appearing there. And uh, you can notice that they are right beside the values, the numeric values we entered, number one and also number four. So what we're going to do here, we're going to type something. I'm just going to type item list and then I'm going to press the enter key here. I'm going to press the tab key and it will go all the way to the first tab stop position number one and then I'll just put something like uh, notebook and then I'll press the tab key again and notice my leader for the tab stop position four appearing there and I can just put the number of items I have here which is three and so on so you can do that all over again and primarily this is used for like creating a list in some cases uh, you can do that so if you have additional items to enter here the same procedure and uh, you will see your your leader and your tab stop position will allow it to stop in line with the previous um, the previous line you had above so I hope that this video helps you to create your tabs um, just wanted to remind you to like this video if it helped and in addition to that make a comment please remember to subscribe thanks for watching